This is an overview of how the timer functions. Most of the time people have the timer open the gate in the morning and close the gate in the evening. Really what the timer is doing is opening the gate in the morning and holding it open all day and ceasing to hold it in the evening. The way you do this is by setting your timer. You'll notice it says one and on. There's multiple events you can have in here, but this is the on for the number one event. You pick the hour. So this would be 2 a.m. Most people would put it 7 a.m., something like that, where the business would open. Notice the days of the week. This has Monday all the way through Sunday. We can eliminate Sunday, eliminate Saturday. Now we just have Monday through Friday. And if this is the time that you want, 7 a.m., Monday through Friday, you press timer again, and you'll see it says one off. This is the off time for the number one event. Set this to four o'clock in the afternoon. And now on the back of the relay, you will see there's a common, a normally open and normally closed. This is the common. This is the normally closed. This is the normally open. It will close the circuit between the common and the normally open between that time. Right now we are within that time. You will notice the light on. Whenever a red light is on, that means that the circuit is closed and the gate should be open. You'll notice there's an on, an auto, and an off. If you want the timer to function by the presets, it must be set to auto. Auto will automatically detect whether it should be on or should be off and change it to that. If you move the manual switch to the on position, it will turn on and stay on until you switch it back to auto or off. If you toggle the manual button to the off position, it'll turn off and stay off no matter what time you have set into the timer until you turn it back to auto. Now that we've turned back to auto, we are within the time that I had previously set, so it automatically turned to on. One last note about this timer. It has a power input. The power input must be used in correct voltage. This one is 24 volt DC in order to power the relay. The unit will light up without any power coming in here. However, the relay will not contact. In order to function, you must have incoming power and at the correct voltage.